guys, we made it to 100 subscribers. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Damari McKenna and I am back with another video. And for today's video, as you can see by the title, I am doing my first, first, first Q&A on this channel. And yeah, so the question y'all asked me, um, I put like a post up on my Instagram, um, like a story, and I said like, you know, send me questions for a q a video this was like a couple months ago i this is my second time filming this video um before like it was just it just wasn't up to the par like i wanted it to be when i first recorded it so i'm back recording it and what better way to celebrate 100 subscribers <laughs> what better way to celebrate 100 subscribers than to incorporate y'all in the video like what's going on? you know what i'm saying so thank you once again guys for getting me to 100 subscribers and that's the first milestone that i completed when it comes to my youtube and growing my youtube channel so you guys all help me those who decided to subscribe and stay tuned with my videos and things like that y'all are the ones who got me to my goal so i really appreciate that so i'm gonna answer the questions that y'all gave me so let's get straight to the video wrote down all the questions that i received and i put them on there so i can give y'all like in-depth answers you know what i'm saying like so i won't forget to add certain things and stuff like that so the first question i got is what is my dream job i would say my dream job would to be like working for myself like i've always wanted to be an entrepreneur but i would say right now i'm like with the content creating like the social social media influencing and stuff like that i feel like that um is helping me develop my dream do job because like it's something that i like doing i enjoy doing and it's also like i don't have to clock in to do it you know what i'm saying like i could just do it um but before like when i was younger i always wanted to be an actress or a model so yeah next question is what is your goal for 2023 as regards to content and marketing purposes um i would just say like growing my platforms and stuff like that in my social media um and like working with different brands and reaching out to brands and becoming a ugc creator um yeah like i just want to grow i just want to grow you know continuously like i just want to get out there more um and like grow my business as that if that makes sense so yeah but it's also saying somebody else said something i want to accomplish so aside from like um getting like social media and getting monetized and stuff like that um i would like to get a job in my career field for the time being because like i don't know if you all know but i am in school for cybersecurity. um <clears throat> so i want to at least get get something in the it department it field which is information technology field um so yeah that's why that's my goal this year i want to accomplish and i'm also um for another goal i want to get my give me a new car like i'm gonna get my first car actually like um so i'm gonna do that and i just want to grow like i just want to grow to my full potential like i want to be the best version of myself and i know that's like people say that all the time but it's like really true like when you really want to focus and get in your bag it's like that's all you think about for real like you just want to better yourself and not you know what i'm saying like you just like in competition with your own self and not anybody else that's like the best type you know so i would say just like better myself and like reaching like goals and stuff and yeah doing the best i can do honestly like 
like motivate others help others inspire others um yeah i just like doing that you know so those are some things i do want to accomplish this year and also like i want to get into i'm well i am into fashion but i just want to get into more like i want to post more fashion stuff i want to like buy more outfits and like put some stuff together and stuff like that you know <laughs> that's that's what i want to accomplish so what is the best piece of advice you've been given mm. oh i will say the best piece i got two pieces of advice um and this goes for everybody right and my dad always told me growing up like if i ever if somebody ever makes me mad or something like that like he always told me to ignore ignorance and it's so hard to do that it's a learnt skill that you have to do because like when you're mad you're like bro like that person just made me mad like i'm not about to ignore that like it just it just it's hard to ignore it in your mind at that time but like as you get older and like well for me like i continuously heard it and heard it and my dad always told me to like ignore that person ignore ignore them don't let them get get a rise out of your day don't let them take you know what i'm saying take your day and my mom also told me like don't let people get to you like that you know what i'm saying don't let people because they're not thinking about you after they didn't did what they did you don't cross their mind but they still living rent free they got condos in your head you know what i'm saying like so it's just mm -mm, it's not even worth it so like it's still a learn a learned skill like it's still something that i'm learning every day but i have definitely grown and seen that um play a part in my life a lot so i would say ignore ignorance it's easier said than done but once you do it you won't regret it okay another piece of advice that i got from like my mom i got this from my mom um because whenever you're like doing something and you're trying to do something new or you're trying to better yourself or you have this business idea or you you know whatever you're doing the people who are close to you or around you they may not support you the people around you or closest to you may not be those who support you and that's very important to know and to not get your feelings hurt over the people who you thought was gonna support you who are your closest friends or even family members who you grew up with like sometimes they may not see your potential or they may fear it i don't know it's just i have no idea why but it's true so my word of advice for that is when you're starting something um you do want to make sure that you look around to see and watch your back to see like who's like happy for you genuinely because some people they'll say oh i'm so happy for you and really just saying that so that you won't raise a question in your mind about them you know what i'm saying so i would definitely um look around to see who like really like claps for your successes and who really like um congratulates you and continuously supports you whether it's reposting your stuff or whatever liking your stuff commenting on your stuff like that support goes a long way but some people may not do it and then i'm not saying everybody who don't um repost your stuff or whatever don't support you i'm not saying that i'm just saying to make sure that you know you see who genuinely are your friends your real friends and who's genuinely rooting for you you know so yeah i would definitely keep that in mind because that's something i definitely had to learn i'm continuously learning like everything is a learning experience so but from my experience this is what i'm telling you um to just like make sure you're genuine first of all make sure you're a genuine friend in the first place because nobody's gonna root for you if you're not rooting for other people 
you know what I'm saying? So make sure you're not that friend who's not supporting or whatever. But yeah, just keep that in mind, y'all. All right, we're about to go to the next question. Okay, this question is my what are what are my biggest icks about men? Um, <laughs> I will say like I'm gonna give y'all one because like this is kind of no it's not kind of it is like a determining factor um there is a difference between someone being confident and someone being arrogant i do not like an arrogant man <laughs> no mm -mm. a prideful arrogant oh no ew disgusting no mm -mm. if if you mm -mm. don't come to me arrogant no because no I need you I need respect you know what I'm saying I need you to respect me and that's it <laughs> like respect me like you know what I'm saying have the utmost respect for me and don't try to come up come at me like oh like I don't know it's just I don't like arrogance okay like I want you to be confident I do want a confident person because I'm confident myself, you know what I'm saying? I'm not arrogant, okay? Confidence is key. So I would, does, I'm only doing that because that's like on the surface and that's obvious. Like nobody's gonna want an arrogant person around them, so whatever. Another question, do you want to get married and have kids? If so, what age and how many? Okay, so yes, I do desire to get married in the future and i do want to start a family but i don't know what age i know right now i'm not ready so i know i'm not ready okay so once i get like my life established and figured out then in the future i will be open to getting married and settling down <laughs> another question someone asked me was so who is someone in who someone who inspires me or looked up or I looked up to in my entire life? Well, I would just say um to start off like my immediate family. Um they have always been there for me. They have always been my biggest support system. Um they always motivate me to like be the best version of myself and do my very best like you know what I'm saying so I was definitely say my family and like even the family who are like out of town and stuff like that like everyone has a different um what's the name impact on me like you know what I'm saying like everyone plays a part it's like you know that saying they say um it takes a village to raise a child I feel like that is very true that's very very true because like you may get just like small pieces of advice or things that stuck out um to you like as you're growing up that like kind of like molded you into the person that you are now so yeah i would say my family and also i've had friends who like motivated me and helped me to like do more and be better and not better than them no competition i'm just saying better in my own lane you know everybody has their own lane and everybody can do what they do <laughs> okay everybody has their own lane that's one thing don't forget everyone has their own lane i would say like um i have learned a lot from every person that came into my life either they taught me a lesson or they were a blessing you know so even like the people who have like who I don't talk to anymore like I've learned from them and I've learned different things um, from everyone who stepped foot in, in my life so I would just say like I wouldn't say everybody who walked in my life is someone who inspires me but I will say like those who have like a go-getter mindset like but I would, I'm like literally talking in a circle right now, but because I don't really know how to 
give a solid answer to that question because it's so many like avenues and stuff like that that's just rolling around in my brain so um i will say though aside from like my entire family like i would say my older siblings they have definitely pat made a pathway for me to like to learn from and to like not follow completely because like older siblings they you know everybody makes mistakes everybody had those days you know but i have learned like the determination and motivation from my older siblings and anything like they they put their mind to they're gonna do it and i'm a procrastinator so like whenever i procrastinate i'm like you know i need to get it together because my brothers they literally did this and you know and they accomplish this and they they don't just sit around and you know they don't just sit around and wait for time to pass by but they actually get it done they go out there and get it done and they get what they want so i would say i would say my older siblings if i'm gonna put put the the um answer on one person then I would definitely say my older siblings. Whew, that question was just so impactful. Okay, let me see. What are my hobbies? Okay, okay. So I have um a lot of hobbies. I've like, I have a lot of hobbies. So I'm just gonna start. I love listening to music, as you can see with my videos like i always play music um music is just very important for my everyday life it just makes me feel good if i'm sad i'll listen to sad music if i listen if i'm sad again i'll listen to music that make me a beat like you know it's just I, I just i love 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 listening to music so i would say that like i listen to music every single day okay so next then another thing i like doing i love well obviously as you can see content creating that's one of my new hobbies that i've got what last year and it's almost a year hold on my last video my, i mean my first video my first video 11 months ago so <laughs> still playing so next month is gonna be my one year YouTube anniversary and we met our 100 subscribers period slowly but surely we gotta you know what I'm saying celebrate every success that we have you know so that's important like even though it may seem little you celebrate your successes because you've come a long way with everything you did you know what I'm saying? Just think about that. Okay. <laughs> Not to get off track. But I also like trying new things. I like traveling. I love fashion. Um, I like working out as well. I like um, cooking. Okay. I like cooking. Don't tell my don't tell my family. But I like cooking. But I don't want them to know because they're gonna want me to cook all the time if I tell them. So <laughs> I do like cooking though, like, I do. It's like really chill, like, therapeutic. Like cutting up vegetables and cutting up whatever. <laughs> like, it's just therapeutic. So I do like it or enjoy cooking. Okay, and I also was like to add that I like hanging out with my friends and like going different places and like just being around their company. And I also like hanging out with my family too, like, they, I think they know, but if they don't know, now they know. Where do I see myself in five years? Mm. Um, I see myself being happy. I think I'll be like in my prime and entrepreneurs say this is what's going to happen so that we just get in the right mindset so it does happen right probably be moving out yeah i'll be moving out um most likely probably like dating and stuff 
Uh, oh, getting my dream car. I love, I like Jeep Wranglers. So that's like my dream car, my starter dream car. Like a Jeep Wrangler, a matte black one with some like big rims and stuff and then like the inside be pink like i just yeah i just pretty were moving out dating and having my dream car yeah that sounds reasonable right i think that sounds right mm -hmm. um my dream travel destinations well i want to go somewhere tropical or, like an island or something so i would say hawaii um i do want to go to jamaica and i also want to go to bali and like cancun or what's, what's that one that everybody be going to punta cana punta cana i want to go there like i want to go like everywhere not every hold on not everywhere but i do want to go like to tropical places and stuff be somewhere in the island like i want to be an island gal you know what is my fear? <laughs> heights. I'm afraid of heights, yeah. I have a phobia of heights. When my friends came to visit, we went to an amusement park and obviously I was recording. I didn't bring, I didn't get on no heights. I mean, I didn't get on no roller coasters. I got on the little rides or whatever, but I was not gonna go on no top through a dresser and all that extra stuff. Mm -mm. He was not gonna catch me on it. I just never was a fan of heights. Like I always just, and then after seeing like all the stuff that be happening when people go to these amusement parks and falling off and getting injured and stuff, mm -mm, count me out, baby, cause I can't do it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, uh, no, no. You're not gonna catch me on no heights up in the air. I'm risking my life for to be scared. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. No, count me out. Count me out. Count me out. Like, yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What are my favorite skincare products? I use unscented products, by the way. Um, so I would say I got African black soap. Um, like the natural, the real natural kind. Um. Neutrogena products. I use the stress relief power wash and scrub. So it's like in a like almost like a turquoise and orange kind of bottle. It's like a line that they have. Um, stress relief, acne control. So I use that one. And I also use like facial serums or va and Vaseline. So like when it gets cold, I have to layer my skin. So I found like um, a facial serum. It's in like my maintenance day routine video. So go back to look at that. Um, but there I show you like the products that I use for my face and my skincare routine. Um, some My skincare routine has changed a little bit somewhat, but not really. Um, the only addition I use is ice. Um, and I don't use that much stuff on my skin anymore. So, yeah, I use, I've been using ice on my skin and it's really been doing something. So, just take you a little ice cube in the morning and rub it all on your face until it melt and you good. Water. That water. Water. Oh my gosh. Water. You have to drink water. You have to, in order for your skin to flourish you need to drink water see i got this little i got this water bottle that i be drinking out of drink water drink water now i only get like half a gallon done a day but it's okay because it's really good for your skin too so make sure you're drinking your water because you want to like your skin it shows like from what you take inside you know what I'm saying? So, just having like outside stuff and like, you know, products on your face is not gonna like do it all. You have to make sure you're feeding yourself from the inside to make sure you're shining bright from the outside. If that makes sense. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I got like one more question. One last question. This question, what made you want to start your YouTube channel? Yeah, so I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel since I was younger. Um, and I actually did. I started a YouTube channel back in middle school. First of all, it's the same channel. <laughs> it's the same channel. I just deleted the old videos. But yeah, I started this channel back in the day and my quality, if y'all still follow me from back, from the back of when it was when, like, ah, uh, y'all are some real ones. Y'all are the OGs, like, for real. But, yeah, I started this channel back in middle school. And at that time, I had, my quality was just not the best, one. Two, I was very, very new to it. So it was just, like, mid. Like, everything was just mid. And maybe I was just overthinking it at the time and just always thought that. But like, when you're younger and you're looking back on stuff, you're like, ooh, cringe, like, ew. But even at that time, I was just like already not feeling it because I was like, dang, why my quality is not good? Like, so, yeah, I would say my quality was bad. Um, and I always wanted to start it, but I also got discouraged not only from the quality, but also somebody who, once again, I was close to, um, said something that kind of like discouraged me. And I know it shouldn't have let it discourage me at that time, but at that time I wasn't as like confident as I was and I didn't know much, like I knew myself, but like, it just was it was different like you know when you're younger like anything somebody say negative you're like it make you question yourself and stuff like that so it was just kind of like mm, like should i even am i even should i even do this <laughs> like it like should i just wait like i don't know so that um like discouraged me stuff like that but even though i shouldn't have let it discourage me I'm here now, y'all. So, y'all here. I'm here to stay. So, yeah, I would just say that. And also, another reason I want to start YouTube is because I want to always wanted to like help people and entertain people and inspire others um, who are also similar to me. Like, I'm just a regular girl, and like, like, why not start it? You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody is their own individual self and everybody brings something different to the table. So, why not bring you? You know? Why not? Why not, like, whoever doesn't like it, doesn't like it. Like, okay. And that doesn't determine who you are as a person. That doesn't determine if other people gonna like you or not it doesn't matter do what makes you happy i don't care if i get zero video i mean zero views on a video like i did it for me i was happy at the time i was happy when i was editing i was inspired by myself as i was editing so or as i was filming so you know you just can't let stuff get to you and stuff got to me when I was younger, but now it's just like, mm, I kind of just like brush a lot of stuff off because like not everything is worth your time or your mental capacity, you know? So <laughs> yeah, that was just some advice for me. The last reason I would say, um, the, the reason why I started YouTube is like for my own self, like it was always on my bucket list since I was younger and it's like now i get to cross that off and like regardless of how far i go with it like i did it and the younger younger me would be so proud you know i came a long way so i would definitely say like it was also for me and for what i wanted to be as like a grew up and just wanted to try something and here i am trying it and just like i said i like to try new things so 
yeah that's all for this video make sure you follow me on ig at i am dot damari so that you can keep up with my um instagram polls and stuff where i do like ask my followers um questions and things like that and hopefully you'll get the opportunity if you didn't get a chance to participate in this q a video maybe next time um you get to participate in an updated q a video in the future so make sure you go over to my instagram and all my other social medias to stay and keep up with me thank you also once again for getting me to my first milestone of 100 subscribers um i hope you all continue follow me on this journey i'll continue to stick with me while i turn over multiple milestones in the future in the near future so yeah um i hope everyone's doing well make sure you like comment share and subscribe if you haven't already damari mckenna out